Hi, y'all, and welcome to my station. This is Shannon from Savvy Shannon, and today I have a horror movie haul. Yes, y'all, it's not a Dollar Tree haul. It's a horror movie haul, and it's movies that I did get from the Dollar Tree and from Goodwill. Everything is under $3, and I love movies. I love horror movies. I love Halloween. That's my favorite time of the year besides Christmas. And yeah, so I'm going to look and show you guys the movies that I got, kind of give you an overview of the movie, and then maybe you'll want to go out and see if your local Dollar Tree has it or your local Goodwill. And um, let me tell you something. Um, at Goodwill, their movies are $1.99, and you get like name brand, well, I wouldn't say name brand, like what popular movies that you've seen at the theater. You know, like it could be like throwback, like from the 80s, 90s, but they're actually good movies, you know. But, like, with the Dollar Tree, like, they have good movies when you find them. Like, I just hauled Insidious and um, Exorcist, but they're hard to find, you know. You will find some movies that are, like, by um act actors that you don't know about or directors that you never heard of. But the movies are good, you know. So, I always try to give them a chance. So, I buy, I mean, a buck for a movie. That ain't bad, but Goodwill has them better for $1.99, so you're getting a better bang for your buck. If you go to the Goodwill. Well, let's get this started. Guys, I'm suffering with bad uh, insomnia. It is 3 in the morning in Chicago. And I am I'm I can't sleep. So, I don't know if I, I need like a med, pay, a med change. Because I told you I got bipolar disorder. So, yeah, it affects my um, sleeping. I'm in the manic stage. So, it affects my sleeping. But I just want to tell you, I am still doing the giveaway, and you need to comment Monroe, M-O-N-R-O-E, for a Dollar Tree giveaway consisting of Echo, Hard Candy, um, Elf, and I will be drawing the name on December 29th. I am getting more subscribers every day, and I want to thank y'all for doing that because I want to get my name out there. And like I said, I'm not trying to make money. I'm just trying to show people the best bargains that they can get at the Dollar Tree or at Goodwill, Walmart, every store where I could find a good bargain. But yeah, um, I do miss the Dollar Tree, and I will be going back soon. Maybe on the 1st, or maybe closer, but who knows, we'll see. Let's get into this haul. Okay, the first movie I did pick up at the Goodwill, which I'm sure you heard of. It's called 13 Ghosts, and as you can see, it was $1.99. And it says, Misery Loves Company. It's about a family... Okay, let me see if I have the disc in here. Yeah, that's what the disc looks like. It's very scary. This movie creeps me out. It's about a family that um, inherits this house. And ghosts actually live in there. 13 of them. Or 12 of them, I forgot. But they're, it's really scary. The ghosts are scary. This is one of the movies that you cannot watch in the dark. Because it really is scary. And I am a scary movie buff. And this one really, really creeps me out. That's what it looks like in the back. It shows you pictures of the ghosts. But I did find this at the Goodwill. And this is a good find. Because this is a name brand movie. And this was in the theaters. So this is a good find. If you want something really scary. Um, ghostly scary. I don't watch it at night. And I'm a horror freak. So yeah, that's one. I'm doing ten. So my next one is Rosemary's Baby with Mia Farrow. I'm sure you heard of it. Oh, and by the way, 13 Ghosts is a remake. It was from the 60s, but it is a remake, the new one. This one's called Rosemary's Baby. You see the little black cradle. This movie is crazy, dudes. This is about a man and a woman who went, who rent this apartment. And the, flat, the, the man becomes a devil worshiper. And he sacrifices his wife's baby. Um, for eternal life. And at the end, she gives birth to the baby. And it's like... They put the baby in a black bassinet, yes, with an upside-down cross. I hate that part. I hate seeing the cross because I do, I am very religious. Well, I don't want to say very religious, but I don't like that sacrilegious stuff. So, yeah, this movie's pretty boring through the, through the whole movie. It only gets good really towards the end because you see the sacrifice and everything. But, yeah, it looks like that. I did pay $1.99 at the Goodwill. This was a really good find. And it does have special features, and it's really good. Okay, my next one, oh my god, this was awesome. I have part one, three, and four 
I want, I probably one and three, I'm sorry, but I did not get them at the Goodwill. But this is Dennis Hopper, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. And this was only $1.99. And this movie is so good. I don't know if you're familiar with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's supposedly a true story about a crazy family that hacks people off with a chainsaw. That Leatherface is the um, killer and he runs around with a chainsaw on people's face and on his human skin on his face. But this is about a chili contest and they actually use human remains as chili. And um, yeah, it's crazy. But this is supposedly a true story. And I believe it's based off the serial killer, Eddie Gein. I call him Eddie Gein. He's my favorite serial killer. He actually is not a serial killer. He's actually a schizophrenic um, wreck. Like, a serial killer is like Jeffrey Dahmer, John Wayne Gacy. I wouldn't put Eddie Gein in the category as a serial killer. He was a sick man, and he didn't get help. But yeah, this is Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. Very good find. One ninety nine at the Goodwill. Okay, this one I did find at the Dollar Tree. To me, it was a good deal because it's three movies. Oh, no, it's actually four movies. It's One Puppets and Dolls Rock, Dangerous Worry Dolls, Demonic Toys 2, and Doll Graveyard. It's all about the dolls. I don't know if you can see that. It's all about possessed dolls. And it really comes from Robert the Doll and Annabelle. Them are really true stories. But they, they took off with the doll, the whole doll thing. And it's a two, as you can see, it comes in two discs. I have not watched it, so I cannot um, give you a rating. But yeah, I figured you get five movies for a dollar. I said, you know, when puppets and dolls attack, that, that, that sounds kind of corny. Like, that would be something I wouldn't watch. But yeah, for a buck, you can't beat it. Then I got this one at the Dollar Tree. This is called The Last Circus. And what got me, see, I have like a glare. It's crazy. It's three in the morning. And where is this glare coming from? But this one's called The Last Circus. And look at that clown. He just reminds me of John Wayne Gacy. He looks very scary. I watched like 20 minutes of it. It was okay. It wasn't all that. Kind of boring. But it's just about a circus, you know, a scary circus. I mean, it's okay. I, I thought it was like the fun house. Back in the 70s, the movie The Fun House, but it didn't um, live up. Now, this was a killer. This, I paid a dollar. No, I paid two ninety nine for this one because it's triple feature. This is Cycle 2, Cycle 3, and Cycle 4. Yes, yeah, Norman Bates. Cycle 2, Cycle 3, and Cycle 4. Yes, guys, we have our infamous Norman Bates. I love him. I love the actor. Um, It's so good. Part two is like with his mother's relationship. Anthony Perkins plays it awesome. Uh, all three of them are good. They're just not like part one though. But the only really scary scene in part one is the shower scene. But part two is good. Part three is good. And part four is good. This was a really good buy for $1.99. Like I said, you can get name brand movies, which is really cool. Really good find. I mean, come on, three psychos. Where are you going to get that? Okay, and my next movie, this is from the Dollar General, Dollar Tree. For a dollar, it's called The Forsaken. And it says, terrifying, the sexiest vampire movie since The Lost Boys. So I guess it's kind of sexy and it's a vampire movie. I never seen it. I brought it because it was a dollar. It looks like that. And all the discs are fine. You know, none of them are like random up. They're all pretty good. You know, so I've had a little trouble with some Dollar Tree movies, but I never kept the receipt. And so now I know better. So I kind of lost out on some money a couple times. So yeah, I never watched this. The cover got me. It looks good. The girl's beautiful. The men are handsome. Looks really good. It looks like a sexy, thriller, scary movie. Okay, this one was an awesome find also. This was also from the Goodwill. This is Damien versus Omen. I'm sure you guys heard of the Omen. No, not Damien versus Omen. Damien Omen. This is the first one. It was two ninety nine at the Goodwill. And um, no, I got this one at St. Francis de Paul. That's a, um another thrift store in my area. I have not watched this, but I've seen it. I mean, this is another movie that freaks me the fuck out because this is like The Exorcist and stuff. But Damien does freak me out. You know, he is Satan's son, and um. Damien returns to fulfill his destiny. He's widely feared to be the Antichrist. 
Um, it's a chilling sequel to The Omen that forces a good and evil badly each other to a taut and it's a terrifying end. This is scary, but it's not as scary as The Exorcist. It's kind of was in competition with The Exorcist. Very good find for two ninety nine. I have not opened it. They have it taped, but the movie is very good. See, I still own a DVD player. I know we can go on Netflix and stuff, but you can't get these on Netflix. You know, but these are throwbacks. Okay, let me do this one because I'm going to do my last one. My best movie of all time, last. Um, this one's called Holiday Surviving This Is Hell. This was from the Dollar Tree. This movie does not work. If you see this at your dollar store, keep your receipt. This tells you scary stories about Valentine's Day, Halloween, Father's Day, and Mother's Day. It does not work. This this does not work. I was so pissed off because I really wanted to see it. I think i seen it before. And it looks like that in the back. But please, guys, if you do buy this movie, it looks like a really good movie. It tells you scary stories about e each holiday. But please make sure you check to see if it works because mine did not work. So I was really pissed off. And then my last one, I love Rob Zombie. Oh, my God. I'm like, oh, my God, I love Rob, Zomb Rob Zombie. So he came out with a couple movies. It's a series of a, of a family and they are a psycho family, and they kill, and they eat people, and they sleep with dead people. They're crazy. Baby Otis and Dr. Spaulding. I'm um, Captain Spaulding. I'm sorry. I'm half asleep, guys. And one is called The House of a Thousand Corpse, The Devil's Rejects. And um, what is the third one? Oh, my God. It just came out. Five from Hell. And, um, no, Three from Hell. And, um, yeah, this one was a great find. This, was, this is the third copy that I own of this movie. Every time I get it, I lose it. This is the Devil's Rejects, and it was $1.99. And look at the characters, how crazy they look. This guy is so hot, I have a big crush on him. This is Otis. He passed away. That's Captain Spaulding. He passed away in real life. And that's Sherry Moon Zombie, Rob Zombie's wife. And it looks like that. And this movie is very good. Kind of like Texas Chainsaw. See, she's running. She has a human mask on her. She has a human flesh on her face. And this has features. And it comes with two discs, 30 Days of Hell, and The Devil's Rejects. It's very good. This movie is very good. And it says preview, twelve ninety nine when Blockbuster was open. That's what it used to go for. But I paid 20 when this first came out. Very good movie. If you are a scary movie freak, I highly recommend it. Well, that's it for this Halloween scary haul. I'm going to try to come up with some more um, things. You know, in my brain, I think all the time of something to put on my channel to entertain you. But yeah, I'm going to let you go. And um, I am your local Avon lady. I don't want to pop, um, pop my Avon on y'all. But I do sell it. And I'm looking for new custies. And I'm going to link my, my thing downstairs. Alright? And I love y'all. Stay blessed. Adios. Bye, biatches.